Hello guys, welcome to our channel, Techno Universe. Tesla significantly outperforms competitors as it invests heavily in the development of technologies for production. However, lately, a part supplier to Chinese electric vehicles, Guangdong Hongtu Technology or GHT, is one step ahead of Tesla when they announced that it will begin developing a die-casting machine that has tremendous power with the help of the LK Machinery Company. So, what is this die-casting machine? Let's find out in today's video. Today, we are going to talk about what's the difference between this colossal monster and Tesla's Giga Press, and why do big car manufacturers like Tesla aspire to get it. We all know that Tesla currently has their secret weapon, which is the Giga Press die-casting machine, to achieve their massive vehicle production in a short time. The Giga Press is more like a die-casting setup than a machine. It is equipped with all sorts of devices and systems required in the die casting process. Accordingly, Tesla's mega casting technique represents a huge innovation in auto manufacturing. Using huge casting machines to make car bodies out of massive cast parts greatly reduces the complexity of the body assembly process, saving costs and improving efficiency. IDRA and LK Group are the only ones making these machines. And Tesla happens to be the first company ever to order the Giga Press. Since then, people associated with the die-casting industry are eager to see the world's largest die-casting machine in action. The name GigaPress was first coined by Ricardo Ferrario, the IDRA Group's general manager. The IDRA Group introduced the GigaPress in late 2018. It has been in their catalog since then. However, IDRA had already announced on their website that they had got the first order for a 5,500-ton high-pressure die-casting or HPDC machine. Later on, Tesla put its first GigaPress into operation at the Fremont factory in 2020. It has a clamping force of 55,000 to 61,000 kilonewtons or 5,600 to 6,200 tons of force. The GigaPress is the largest die casting machine in the world to date. It can weigh up to 430 tons and have a clamping force of up to 61,000 kilonewtons. Additionally, these gigantic die casting machines are as big as a house and capable of casting extremely large components. Tesla is currently using two types of 6,000 ton Giga presses to cast the one piece rear end of the car and the one piece front end of the car. At the moment, this production technology is used only for the production of Model Y. And at first, the casting of the front part will only take place at Giga Berlin and Giga Texas, while the casting of the rear part is already taking place at Giga Shanghai and Fremont. We are optimistic that more companies will utilize the GigaPress technology in the future to boost their production efficiency. In addition, the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, has been hyping the new Model Y to be built at those factories as a revolution in auto body engineering. It was referring to Tesla using mega-casting parts to have single-body pieces for the rear and front of the electric SUV. Tesla has already been producing the Model Y with a single rear body piece that replaced 70 different parts in the vehicle. Not only that, another type of GigaPress with a clamping force of 8,000 tons will be used for the rear part casting of another Tesla vehicle, the coveted Cybertruck. During the quarter 4 of 2020, Elon Musk mentioned that Tesla intends to use a similar GigaPress as for the Model Y, but the clamping force for producing the rear body of Cybertruck will be 8,000 tons as opposed to 6,000 tons for the Model Y. Musk argues that this new machine and Tesla's planned use shows that the technology can be used to produce bigger parts and bigger vehicles like pickup trucks. Elon Musk also was looking to secure an order for the world's newest biggest casting machine. However, IDRA didn't confirm that Tesla is behind the order and instead only mentioned a leading global manufacturer for new energy vehicles. Tesla is clearly behind the order since IDRA was already a supplier for the automaker previously. But according to some sources, a casting machine manufacturer in China, LK Machinery, is developing a machine with a clamping force of 12,000 tons which is designed to cast the entire body or frame in one piece. And that's the giant die-casting machine we mentioned at the beginning of today's video. With such a machine, the production of the body can be much faster and easier. According to information from the source, the production in this machine can reduce the time spent on car production by 25%. Previously in 2018, Tesla filed a patent for a multi-directional unibody casting machine for a vehicle frame and associated methods which interestingly discloses a new casting machine that Tesla plans to use for casting bodies in one go. 
As described, such casting machines may reduce the number of casting machines or actual castings required to cast a complete or substantially complete vehicle frame. Thus, this approach completely coincides with Musk's idea of how he would like to witness the production of Tesla cars. According to a reply from Musk on Twitter, he wrote with the giant casting machines we are trying to make full-size cars in the same way the toy cars are made. Most recently, GHT, a part supplier to Chinese electric vehicle automakers, announced it will begin developing a 12,000-ton die-casting unit with the help of Tesla's supplier LK Machinery. Recently, responses from representatives at NIO and XBank are hinting that they might soon be using the GHD company's large one-piece die-casting machine to manufacture their electric vehicles. Furthermore, last November, some news reported that from Tesla's die-casting supplier LK Machinery, which stated it was working with six Chinese automakers to deploy similar manufacturing technology. At the time, an LK Machinery engineer stated that these Chinese automakers still had a way to go in vehicle design before the supplier could deliver the large die-casting machines. On the other hand, at least two Chinese automakers may have figured out how to adapt similar manufacturing techniques to Tesla with the help of a mutual parts supplier called GHT. A recent ceremony announcing plans to launch die-casting units hints that NIO and XBank could be applying the technology to their assembly line soon. So, can Tesla's competitors in China adopt Tesla-like die-casting machines? CVEV Post covered a ceremony in China in which Guangdong Hong2 Technology or GHT announced it will launch a 6,800-ton machine. Furthermore, the Chinese auto parts supplier has agreed with the subsidiary of LK Machinery to purchase eight large die-casting machines. GHT stated it will work with partners like LK Machinery to develop a 12,000-ton die-casting unit as well. That's double the size of Tesla's current machines used for electric vehicle manufacturing. GHT did not get into further details of the Chinese automakers that may utilize this manufacturing technology, but some companies did participate in the event. The report points out that Sheng Shushuang, NIO's XPT Motor Division CEO, congratulated the company on screen via a pre-recorded video. Additionally, Xpang Motors Vice President Zhang Ping gave a speech stating Guangdong's Chengdu's expansion in one-piece die-casting is a milestone event. As previously mentioned, both Chinese automakers currently work with GHD for automotive parts. While neither of these Chinese companies have publicly acknowledged plans to use GHD's die-casting manufacturing technology to emulate Tesla, they haven't said otherwise. Either adapting this manufacturing technique could be a major game-changer for any Chinese automaker beyond Tesla choosing to use it. So that's a wrap for today. Thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates about more tech-related news, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. According to your opinion, in the future, will Chinese electric car manufacturers get a 12,000-ton die-casting machine and achieve the same production capacity as Tesla? If you have any questions, please share your thoughts below. Thank you for staying with us.